Hey everyone, this is Jom from Civil Center and welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with a vision to guide civil engineering student and professional. And for that, we have this uh, Tecla structure software and in this we are working on the steel project. So you can see that this is a general arrangement drawing and we are learning how to modify this drawing. So there are different things in this drawing and you can see there are different grid lines and their markings also like this is the grid a grid b and on this side this is a minus 500 then this is 6000 then this is 7200 but these are just the grid lines but what about the different levels over here as you can see uh we have to also mark the level for this one otherwise where we are going to connect this uh, beams okay so for that we need the perfect levels so that is the requirement of the exact level in the drawing and how to mark that so we are going to read the details about that over here in this topic okay so you can see we can do all these things using this label mark option which you will find in the drawing so in the ribbon you will find the label mark so first for that you have to just go to the drawing and you have to go for label mark once you will use this you will find different labels that are present over here so these are already marked i will just go with another one so you have to simply select it over here and then you have to go to the label where you want to mark it then you have to single click over here and then uh, press the another click and you will see that here your label will be marked okay now you can just press the escape button on your keyboard to uh, interrupt this or you can also go ahead and click on interrupt to come out of any command now you can see we can just mark the labels like this now uh, suppose you want to check whether your grid line is dimmed properly or not and it is the right level or not okay because this is the name of the grid line this is not the actual level okay so for that you can simply go ahead and check it okay so i'm just going to mark it also so you can see this is the plus six six thousand and you can simply mark it like this now let's uh, go ahead and check this level okay so you have to mark all the levels so that you can have the proper uh, vision of where these levels are okay so you can just mark it at a particular place and at a particular height okay so i'm just going to mark the levels over here And let's mark this one also so there is no like uh, limit that uh, you can mark just two levels or three levels whatever the levels are that is in your need you can simply mark them now if you want to modify this then what you have to do you have to simply double click on it and a dialog box will open up so you can see the level mark option is open up here now if you want to add some kind of prefix over here suppose you want to mark this levels as height okay so you can just write h equals to this and you can click on modify and you will see it is showing it like this okay now if you don't want this then just remove that now you can see there is a plus sign this is showing that whether your label is positive or negative so you can just keep it like this or I'm just again showing you the negative levels also so you can see i will just uh, pick for a negative level again so that you can have a proper knowledge of the levels okay so you can see this has been marked as minus 499 so this is the level for this one okay so like this you can go ahead and check the negative and the positive levels also now we were working on this level so if you want to make it none and click on modify like suppose i want to deal with this yeah so i have deleted this one then i want to choose it none so plus sign will be gone and only the height will be visible over here okay so if you want to make it visible then make it visible or if you want to keep it hidden then you can also hide it okay so that's up to you what do you want to do the next thing is about the precision how much precision you want to keep you want to go with 0 0.25 0 0.33 or 0 00 so whatever the precision you want you can simply go over and write it over here now the next thing is about the format in which format you want suppose you want to write it in the decimal format then you can go it like this okay so whatever the precision is you can just go ahead and go with the particular format also okay now 
huge grouping so there are other ways of writing it also like if you want to group it then just click on yes and click on modify so it will be grouped in this format okay so like this it will be grouped if you want to keep it no then just keep it no okay and click on modify then units that can also be decided from here like you want to this is already in mm okay so initially we were working in mm so this is in mm now if you want to make it centimeter you can just make it in centimeter then if you want to make it in meter then you can go in meters okay then if you want to convert it into inch then it will be converted into inch and also you can convert it into the fit okay so whatever it is you want you can simply modify it from here then the next thing is about the appearance suppose you want to change the color of the levels then you can simply change the color from here if you want to change the height you can also go with that okay suppose you want to increase the height to 5 then you can go with that also and now let's get back to the original color that was green now the font type that you can also select from here like you want to make it bold and uh, select some other font then you can also go with that okay select the 12 and click on modify and you will see that it has been modified okay now if you want to get back then just press ctrl z and you will get back to the previous version now what is the type you want to keep it like this or if you want to keep it like the circular one then you can simply click on modify okay so let's uh, make it circular so you can see this can be modified in this manner okay i want to keep it uh, in just the numeric form then you can also choose the arrows like uh, which arrow you want to make so you can also go with this arrow or you can just go for a pointed arrow also now this arrow point can uh, the color can of the arrow can also be changed like this okay or if you want then we can also change the height and the width like if you want to make it one by one then we can just go like that and you can see the arrow head will be changed but initially it was 2 and 2.5 so we will keep it like this because i like this one but you can choose anything and you can change it according to your preference also okay so like this you can simply modify each and everything that is present over here okay so let's make it three okay so guys i think uh, now the levels are quite clear to you and uh, how to mark all those levels that has also been clarified in this class now if you have any kind of question you can simply ask that in the comment section or if you want to join our professional training then you will find a number on the screen go ahead and whatsapp or call on that number and i will personally attend to you thank you